Since the 1990s, NASA's Earth Observing System Data and Information System, EOS DIS, has been serving a global community of users currently over 3 million each year in a variety of Earth Science Data disciplines. I'm Jean Benke of the Earth Science Data and Information System Project at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center, which is responsible for the EOS DIS and its network of 12 distributed active archive centers. We call them DACs as seen in this slide. The DACs are repositories located across the U.S. and organized by science discipline. Together, NASA and many of its DACs have been part of the World Data System organization from before the inception of the EOS DIS. And since the beginning, NASA has had a long commitment to the objectives of free, open, fair data policies. Our constantly growing collection exceeds 38 petabytes of data and is almost 700 million files, or as we call them, granules. So the DACs have been storing and distributing data since the early 1990s quite successfully. And as shown in this slide, the current strategy is for the user to go to each of our DACs and download data to their own space to manipulate as they need, a strategy that has worked for about two decades. But things are changing, both in the amount of data and the technology available to us for managing and working with them. Our biggest challenge has always been to enable increasing numbers of users to find and use the earth science data that they need for their research, their use in various types of applications, their use in education, and so on. Here in this example, I'm acting as a user interacting with our catalog search tool, Earth Data Search. In this search, I'm looking for Earth surface temperatures, and even though we can provide the user results in sub-seconds, it's not a good sign that the results are shown with two commas. And as a user, I really have to think long and hard about whether I want to download almost 1.5 million files over the internet. And our collection of data will grow even larger with the addition of several new NASA satellites. So in 2015, we made a key decision that we would move forward in hosting EOS data in the cloud. That would allow users to bring their analysis to the data also in the cloud, and they wouldn't have to manage all those data bytes on their own machines. We have created a cloud-based data lake where it should be easier for the users to use all the data together, but the cloud location by itself is not enough. We also need cloud-friendly data formats. We need analysis-ready data services. We need rich data manifest for the output from those services. And here's the challenge that WDS can help with. As we and other repositories move our collections to cloud environments, how do we help our users to take advantage of new capabilities and services? Thank you.